and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy. If you're new, then welcome. I have another haul video here. This was from Friday and Saturday, um, all yard sales. Friday was really kind of a bummer. Actually, I didn't get hardly anything on Friday, but Saturday made up for it. So, oh, excuse me. Let me, um, let me show you what I got. Um, we went to a mobile home park sale again. We've been having a lot of those lately. So at first we weren't gonna go because sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not so good. But let me show you what I got there. Um, I went to one sale and she just has some bags of jewelry and some miscellaneous items. So I got this little bag that has a couple things in it. I'll show you what they are. If I can get the bag open. <laughs> I should have done that first, oh my gosh. So there's a little pendant and none of these are silver, but it's a pretty little pendant. I might even use these for crafting. This I thought was interesting. It looks pretty old. It's one of the scar those scarf clips. It has a little thingy on the back. I thought that was really pretty. And then there's a little, um, they call them onks, I think, anks or onks. Cross. I thought that was pretty too. And then this little tiny heart. And I think um, this might be an earring. I think it's just one little single earring. So that might be for crafting. I don't know yet. And then I also got, it was in this little silver eyeglass case, was this necklace that I thought was interesting. I don't know how crazy I am about the white, although it would be really pretty for um, for the winter time. I'm trying to find my little jewelry board, but of course I can't find it, so we'll use this. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty filigree. I love that. And then it has matching earrings to go with it. And these are the little clip-on earrings. So I thought that was a nice little set. And then I also picked up from her this cute little applique dish towel, it's a big one. I thought that looked so, so much like spring or summer. It reminds me of having a picnic outside. It's just so pretty with the daffodils. So that screamed spring to me. And then, oops, I'm dropping things all over the place. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose this. Then I got some things for me. Um, I got this movie, Elf, because I, I had one and I think somebody borrowed it and never returned it. I got this for my granddaughter, Pee Wee's Christmas. And then this one I might sell, and it's um, Christmas Classics. It has Rudolph, the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and then it, I think it has a CD in there. But it's a nice little set. Um, it makes a nice little gift set. So there's one, two, three. Three, I think it's three DVDs and then um, a CD. Or it might even be four DVDs. But, but I thought that was kind of nice. And then I got this book. This I think I got somewhere else, I don't remember. But it's the Rudolph, this was at a yard sale. Another yard sale. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And this was dated. Let me see. This is a nice book. Um, what do I do with my glasses? I know I had them here. Okay. Where are you? I had two pairs of glasses. And at the moment... Oh, here they are. I don't know if I could read with these. 1939-1967. It's in really good condition for 1967. It has amazing graphics. It's gonna be hard letting go of this one. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. This might be one of those books that I'm gonna to have to scan before I sell it because it has some amazing illustrations in there. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. Look at that. 
It's a really nice book, and even the inside, I just love that. So I was gonna save this for Christmas and July sale. Um, so that'll give me some time to scan it before I sell it. Makes a nice backdrop too, and a display. Um, trying to move, make some room here. And then I got this, I thought she, this was, I got this at the same place where I got the DVDs. This was at the, um, the mobile home park sale. So this little poodle, it's a good size. I shouldn't say little, it's actually a good size poodle. And it's made with rabbit fur, which is kind of kind of creepy, but <laughs> they used to do things with rabbit fur a lot. And um, I thought that was awesome. So I picked up the poodle. Um, of course, now I find that thing I was looking for. I'm trying to see what else I got at the, at, um, the rummage park, rummage park, oh my gosh, at the trailer park, okay. I'm gonna stop this for a second and make some room. Okay. okay. Then we went to another yard sale and this was quite a large one. And I think this is another person that buys those storage lockers. We have a lot of those around here. So I got some, a lot of blue glass. I got this beautiful little dolphin. It's like cobalt blue, so pretty. I think it's kind of, it's kind of an awkward shape. Um, I think you probably, because if he's setting up, he's kind of like this. So I'm wondering if he needs to go over like a shelf. That's not a good example, but see. But I thought he was really pretty. So I picked him up. And then I got this, um, this is another dolphin. First I thought it was a bird, but it's actually a dolphin or a porpoise. That was so cute. Nice if you have like a beach theme. And then um, I got this blue bottle and it's just a plain old blue, probably a wine bottle or something, but I love it. And if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it because I collect this colored glass. My window, ooh, my window sill is gonna be covered pretty soon. And then I got these little goblets. I think that's what you call these. They're just little glasses, they're really small. Goblins, does that sound right? But there's a set of three and they're they're identical. Just love that color. So I had to pick those up. There's no markings on them. There's like a little design around the rim. I just thought they were so pretty. They kind of go with the wine wine bottle. <laughs> and then um, I got this bottle. This this is a Jim Beam genie bottle it is missing the top i think somebody used this as a candle holder because there's a little bit of wax residue on the bottom i tried to get most of it off but um i do have another one of these with the top on it that i'm keeping for now but this one will definitely be for sale at a, a live sale coming soon and then look at this i might have to keep this guy a purple glass kitty I've never seen one before. So I might have to keep this one, at least for a little bit. Oh, I just love this. It's a little tiny kitty. And then I have this um, glass swan trinket box. I thought that was pretty too. I don't think it's old. I believe it is made in China. Um, let me see what it says on the bottom. Um, of course, I cannot read it. I think it says uh, crystal. I don't know actually what it says, but I'll hold that up. Maybe you can see what it says. If that comes up, I am not really sure. But I'll put I'll put it down below if I remember. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. Um, I also got another bottle. I, I have a thing with for bottles. Bottles, boxes, what don't I have a thing for, right? But look at this, it's a skull bottle. And it's uh, crystal, it says crystal head. I think it's vodka. Crystal head vodka. But I love that. Ugh, that is just so cool. Nice, 
we might have to keep that i don't know yet <laughs> um oh and this this is beautiful and i don't know if this is fenton it does have the very pointy um hobnail so i don't know if that means it's fenton or not but it is absolutely beautiful it has the little feet on the bottom look at that this is just gorgeous Oh my God, this is so, so pretty. Just stunning, it's a good size. That is beautiful, but there's nothing marked on the bottom at all. All I know is it's very, very sharp, pointy um, hobnail. Isn't that gorgeous? That's so pretty. And I, was that everything? Um, I think that was everything from, oh no, and then also I got this glass heart. Too bad I didn't get it before Valentine's Day, but look at that. And it does have something where you could hang it if you want to, or you could put a big ribbon there. But isn't that gorgeous? I think that's just beautiful. Oh, so big. Like the size of my face. <laughs> and I believe that was everything at that yard sale. So I'm gonna stop this again and make some more room. Okay, well, I didn't realize how much stuff I got. I actually got a lot of things. Um, yeah, I really did. Okay, another yard sale. Um, there's two items I got that they're being cleaned, so I'm not gonna show you those. I picked up another one of these. I have three of these for sale. So now I'll have four. It'll be a set of four. So, so I have four of those. I got these nice little um, sandwich plates. There's a set of four of these. I love these. Um, I wish they had the dinner plates, but they didn't. They're Granada stoneware made in Japan. And there's uh, four just like this. And I just love that pattern. So, so I took care of four of those. I got this um, made in Mexico little vase or little pot that's heavily painted and it is I believe it's a clay yeah it's clay you can see it's peeling inside so it's a clay pot and they painted it on the outside and also on the inside you have to be careful with these if you put water in there because they can deteriorate if they're not sealed really well but that I just thought that was really pretty. It would look really nice with faux succulents in there. Okay, and then this is all from the same place. Um, she had this one little Kimberly bowl. It's white and it is um, Anchor Hawking made in the USA, oven proof, but it has that design on the side. You've probably seen those Kimberly mugs. I thought that's really pretty. And this plate, I usually don't get plates, but this one was nice. It does have a hanger on it, so you can hang it up. It's made in Japan. It says, no matter where I serve my guests, it seems they like my kitchen best. I thought that would look really cute hanging up in a vintage kitchen. So I picked that up. And then, um, is that it? I think that was everything from that sale. And um, I picked these two mugs up. I'm trying to think why I got these. I think these were just at a yard sale. And look, skulls again. Is there you see a theme going on here? <laughs> so I got two, two mugs that they're really in perfect condition. Uh, they're made in Japan. They're by Orchids of Hawaii. I know they make a lot of tiki mugs and stuff, that company. I think I have a tiki mug, but those were really cool. Perfect condition, no chips or cracks. So I got those. And then um, back to the mobile home park, trailer park. This one lady, she had bins of these carpet samples and they were free. I mean, she had tons of them. So I picked up quite a few of them because I thought these would be really nice for when I do my jewelry art. These will make really nice backgrounds. And I got a lot of different ones. There's like a tweed, 
um, there's all kinds of different colors, kind of a velvety. So yeah, I mean, I picked up a bunch, <laughs> a bunch of them, but she has so much more, but um, yeah, I could only, I only needed so many, so many. So I thought it was a good, a good find and it was free. So, and that's good for my crafting. And also from that same lady, um, I got a box of, uh, I don't know if I can open this without spilling it. It has all kinds of bees and steampunk. It has a steampunk theme. So there's um, like a bunch of these little doodads, all different sizes. Little keys. Um, she even has thread and thread and the little threaders in there. Um, another bag of these. So what I might do, um, I might keep some of this. And I'm thinking about doing a craft lot. So, so I don't need all of this. There's, there's a lot here. A lot of really tiny pieces. So I might keep what I want and then do like a craft lot maybe with this and some other, some other crafty things. And then uh, some free glue, E6000. It's still, still good. <laughs> um, just some miscellaneous jewelry. This is, the lady said it's real turquoise, but it's not real silver. It was a belt buckle. I thought that might be good for crafting. Um, at the one yard sale, this man just gave me this little kitten. So I said, how much is that? And he goes, oh, you can have it. I said, well, thank you. <laughs> and then I got some earrings. And silly me, when I got these earrings, I didn't even notice that one is black and one is silver. But, you know, I don't know. I didn't notice that. Because I, I got that, and then this was just free. So I thought I could use that for crafting. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't pay much for these, but... If I would have known, because these were for me. I was going to use have this for myself. And um, I don't know. I guess, if, and the other one looks like it's onyx, black onyx. These might be sterling silver even. But um, it's just odd that, I don't know. I guess I could wear two different, right, earrings. I don't know. We'll see. And then another yard sale, I picked up these little um, boxes. There was, there was three of them, and I think they were 50 cents each. And that's for me. So I could organize my crafts. Then I got some little pipe cleaners for crafting. Um, some little Christmas items for crafting or who knows what. I know this cute little turtle bank that I just couldn't resist. It's a bank. It, it's missing its... Um, little thingy on the bottom. This looks like it could be a hobbyist piece. I have to soak the sticker off the bottom to see. It's like they got it at Goodwill, but I'm pretty sure it's a hobbyist piece. So I got that. <coughs> it's going to be fun to organize some of my, my crafting supplies. Um, so let's see. I think that's everything here. So make one more trip. And get some more stuff. Okay. Um, that same sale where I got some of these other items, the plates and stuff, I also picked this up. Now I did pay a little more than I usually pay for items for this, but it is Ed Hardy. And it's um, eyeglasses or sunglasses. So um, it's a beautiful case. It's all embroidered, just beautiful. If you know anything about Ed Hardy, um, the sunglasses. Look how fancy they are. Now these are, oh, oh my gosh, they're tight for me. So I don't know what the size is, but they look like they're in good condition. Um, they got some smudges on them. I don't think they're scratched. I'll have to look them over really good. Um, they come with a little cleaning cloth. I guess I could clean it and see. Uh, I'll do that later. 
I think they're okay. She says she paid a, a lot of money for these. I think they might be a little bit scratched. I don't know. So if I had to, um, it's hard to say. They're tight on me. And then um, it just has some little, it has some extra, extra little beads in there. And it also has two little screws, extra screws, which is nice. I guess they could do that since these are very expensive new. Um, they're selling the used one like around $90 on Poshmark and eBay with the glasses. So I thought that was a good deal. And then um, the very last sale that we went to, we almost couldn't find it because the sign was actually knocked over and my husband stopped and had to pick it up to read it. And um, I'm glad we stopped because um, I got some Annalise for a very, very good price. But look at this one on a sled. So this will go when I do my Christmas in July sale. That's why I'm gonna put all these. Isn't that adorable? And, um, oh, I should tell you that, let me see what year this is, if it says. Uh, this one is from 1971. And um, there was this cute little sock snowman. Another Anna Lee. This one, oh yeah, it does have a tag on it. This one's from 2006. And then this guy is 2004. Aren't they cute? So those were a screaming deal. All of these were, and then also this little reindeer. Um, he needs some cleaning, I think. And it doesn't say, he's made in China, so he's not that new, but I thought for the Christmas in July, he'd be cute to sell. And then, oh, I almost forgot about this. Um, this was at a, a at a, the mobile home park. There's some more items here, oh my gosh. This doll, I thought she was absolutely beautiful. She's kind of dirty, um, she is old. I don't want to clean her up too much. I'm probably just kind of dust her off a little bit. But look at her. So pretty. She's like that stocking doll, I think. But her hands are all, all intact. She's got little high heel shoes on. She's so adorable. There's no tag. I thought there was, oh, it, it says Bridget, her name is Bridget, or Bridget. Picked her up. And then also um, a bag of, oh, another doll. <laughs> another little doll. This one's, this little head is coming off, it looks like. Uh, this is, this is Nazaire, uh, Portugal. Looks like a little fisherman, a little fisherman net. And then these cute little, Hedgehogs, look at that. That one's with a pine cone. Some of these need some work, but <laughs> I think it was like 50 cents for all of these hedgehogs. So I thought, oh, just put them in a bag. I'll take them home. I don't know what I'll do with them, but somebody might want these. A lot of them are missing their eyeballs for some reason. So yeah, that that's everything. That's it. That's all she wrote for today. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, I'll see you in my next video.